There were a number of strongholds, fortifications or manors or castles that the O'Burns had been associated with, mainly for the capturing of these castles during the period of the Gaelic Revival, 1300 to 1500. Castles like Newcastle, Castle Kevin, Kiltynan, Knock Rath, Redmond's Castle, Clonmore, Rathgowan, Ballinacore, Duncanstown and the Black Castle. The Black Castle, erected in 1178 by the Fitzgeralds to control the coastal route between Dublin and Wexford. Later on, in 1301, captured and burnt by the O'Burns during what was known as the Gaelic Revival period. The O'Burns later came into inhabit it and held it until 1533 when it was re-granted back to King Henry during the surrender and re-grant period. It was held intermittently by the O'Burns after that until 1642 when the King's forces finally took it. Uh, the O'Tools were also associated with this castle after that. Uh, and later on then in the 17th century it fell into disrepair. And as you can see today, very, very little of the Black Castle left due to its position right here at the point in Wicklow Town. The period of the penal laws swelled the ranks of the Irish wild geese who left to seek their fortune on the battlefields of continental Europe and to seek personal advancement in variable careers. In France, some of Barnes had bestowed on them the honorary title of Comte, families who were of noble origin and who were admitted to court. Those who left, like John, Daniel and Gregory O'Burn, after years building up extensive wine estates in the Bordeaux region, and receiving their letters of nobility from King Louis XV, and whose large O'Burn estates were confiscated during the French Revolution, to Edward O'Burn, whose great-grandson is a sprightly 89-year-old running the O'Burn vineyards and estate in Toulouse, and Miles of 1798 fame, who received the Legion of Honour. They are gone, but not forgotten.